Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. When we are about to pray, my dear friends, seeking the prayers of the Most Holy Mother of God, I want to suggest that we must be firmly assured before praying itself, we must uh, think in our hearts that we will not depart from her without having received mercy from God. That is how we ought to have confidence um, in the Most Holy Mother of God. Please remember that she is the all-merciful Mother of the all-merciful God, the Word of God, which, who is Jesus Christ. And her mercies, uh, incalculably great and innumerable, have been declared from all ages by the Christian churches from the time of Christ until now. The Mother of God is known as the Abbess of mercies and bounties, as it is said of her in the canons. It's called the Canon Song or the Odigitri. Therefore, when we seek the prayers of the Mother of God, we must pray with assurance and not, and not you know, approach her with foolish and audacious doubts. You know? Because when we doubt, when we pray, we actually do not receive anything. And when we doubt, when we seek the prayers of the Mother of God, we offend her goodness. Just as God's goodness is offended when people pray to Him, without hoping to receive what they pray for. Therefore, my dear friends, in praying, we must neither doubt nor be faint-hearted. The Virgin Mother of God is the most merciful sovereign of all the sons and daughters of men, as the daughter of God the Father, who is love, the Mother of God, the Word of our love the chosen vessel, the chosen bride of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, we have to understand how can we do otherwise than have recourse to such a sovereign and expect to receive all spiritual blessings from her. So when the storm of enmity or malice is bursting forth in your house, pray, my dear friends, my brethren, to the Mother of God. She who is all-merciful and all-powerful can easily pacify the hearts of men. Peace and love proceed from the one God as from their source and Our Lady in God as the Mother of Christ. The peace is zealous and prays for the peace of the whole world and above all of all Christians. The Mother of God is known from the time of Christ until now to have the all merciful power of driving away from us at her sign the sub-celestial spirits of evil, those ever vigilant and ardent sowers of enmity and malice amongst men, wills at the same time to all who have recourse with faith and love to her, powerful protection. The Mother of God soon speedily gives both peace and love. So therefore be zealous yourselves also in persevering faith and love in your hearts. For if you do not care for this, then how will you will be unworthily of her intercession of you, of the Mother of God? So be worthy of uh, seeking hers, her prayers because she will give you peace and love, especially her protection which you desire much for. Be also most fervent and venerate her in the right manner, my dear friends. For it is truly meet to bless her, the ever-blessed, the entirely spotless mother of our God, the highest of all creatures, the mediatrix for the whole race of mankind. Therefore, strive to train yourself 
my dear friends, as disciples of Christ, in the spirit of humility, for she herself was more humble than any mortal being and only looks lovingly upon the humble. It is said in the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 1, verse 47-48, He has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden, was the words that she uttered to righteous Elizabeth about God her Savior. So of all the God's solitary deeds in the world, the Holy Orthodox Church glorifies most the greatest miracle of God, God's incarnation and its salutary results for the human race, the most pure, most glorified Mother of God, numerically equal to the grains of sand in the sea, are the praises to God's Mother, especially in all the canons that we have, the verses, the dogmatics, the akathists, which are spiritual texts for prayer used in the Holy Orthodox Church. My dear friends, I encourage you all to find these treasures. For she is worthy of all this. All these praises are not sufficient even. For she was favored to be the mother of Christ, the mother of God. And through her, God united with mankind and deified them. So we too must breathe with this mystery of incarnation, be strengthened by it. Why do we ceaselessly praise upon the voice and urging of the church, our most pure mother of God? We call her the Theotokos or God-bearer with multitude of songs and prayers in order to glorify at least in part her majesty. Her life talks to us about her majesty, her holiness, the truth in our life, the amazing purity, uh, the vessel of purity that she was. Humility, which is the entrance to the kingdom of God, was, was what she practiced. Love towards God and to us who are unworthy. Her ceaseless intercession for us, my dear friends, in order to know and remember those endlessly great blessings which the Lord has poured out through her upon the human race. For through her we were considered worthy of eternally glorifying the holy life-beginning Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Through her we have been vivified and saved by God <clears throat> in His three persons. The Mother of God, the Theotokos, we understand through the life of the church is exalted higher than the cherubims and the seraphims and all creatures for your salvation and Christian exaltation. So may she save you and shield you is what our prayer for this morning should be. <clears throat> if you ask me a question, where and in what churches from the time of Christ is the name of the mother of God so often repeated in prayer, so exalted, so praised and called. It is in the Eastern Orthodox churches from day to day. Because it is the truth, the fullness of the truth is in the Orthodox Church. Proclaim this name then, my dear friends, incessantly and fervently. For we have over the centuries thoroughly learned and become convinced of how powerful and salutary is her prayer for us. How many times she saved um, cities, peoples, villages, and many individually from all kinds of strife and evil. Where on earth is so worthily praised and glorified, meet in truth the name of the Most Holy Mother of God, the Theotokos, other than in the Orthodox Church. So what we must we do? We must thank our most speedy mediatrix, Our Lady, the Mother of our Lord, the most pure, the most good Virgin Mary for saving us through our fervent prayers from the harassments and oppression of the devil. It is the devil and the demons which seek after our life and 
try to pull, away, pull us away from God. And what do we think? We think that somehow all these bad things have happened. Somehow all these harassments and oppression have happened. No. It is all the harassments and oppression of the devil that we experience in this life. And it is through the prayers of the mother of God, the most good Virgin Mary. And she saves us through our fervent prayers from the harassments and oppressions of the devil. So look up to her, my dear friends, with the eyes of your heart in the Holy Spirit, who is everywhere present, fills everything. Look up at her as being close to your very heart and call upon her, most speedy lady, mother of God, Mary, save me from the enemy, the disturber. And immediately you will notice in your life, in an instance, the mother of God will save you according to the faith of your heart, according to your soul's trust in her. And the oppression of the enemy, the fire, the heavy despondency and hopelessness that we experience in our hearts and in our lives will definitely disappear and fall aside and leave us. It is only necessary to represent ourselves and firmly believe that the Holy Spirit is indeed everywhere in every place and that he is an incomplex being and that in him all heaven is near us and as upon the palm of the hand with all its angels and saints so that we have only to call upon the lord and upon the virgin mother of god or the saints in the holy orthodox church from the depth of our heart with clear sighted faith with heartfelt repentance for the sins by which we are bound by the enemy or by which we are bound voluntarily ourselves and our salvation immediately, my dear friends, will shine forth. So marvelous is the saving power of Our Lady, the Mother of God, and it flows into the heart of every person like a healing oil, like balsam or like fragrant life-giving air or like calming water. Only look at over the eyes of your heart. I encourage you, as our Holy Father, St. John Kronstad, teaches us this morning, to trust in her mercy and help. But this too is difficult, to look on her with heartfelt, clear-sighted faith, just as it is difficult to look on the Lord Jesus Christ or the saints, for the enemy endeavors by every means to stand like a hard, dark, high wall between our souls and the Lord, or the Mother of God, between us and the angels, between us and the saints. The devil is so evil that he does not allow the eyes of the heart to see the Lord or the saints. He darkens our heart in every way. He scatters faith. He oppresses, he burns us and darkens us inwardly. Therefore, my dear friends, I want to encourage us through the writing of our Holy Father, St. John of Kronstadt, that we must look upon all such actions as illusions and falsehood and break through this imaginary wall to the Lord, to His Holy Mother, to His saints. As soon as you break through this wall, you will immediately be saved. It is written in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verse 22. Thy faith has made thee whole. My dear friends, oh, if only we could hear and see the prayer for us and for the world of the Most Holy Virgin Theotokos, the Mother of God, of angels and saints, we would be horrified and ashamed of our laziness and carelessness in prayer. We would not only during the day, but also in the middle of the night, rise up to pray and glorify the Lord's goodness, the Lord's long-suffering, the Lord's majesty, the Lord's wisdom and almighty power. I end with a prayer for every single one of us. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast borne the Saviour of our souls. 
Most Holy Mother of God, Mary, save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, especially of St. John of Kronstadt, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind.